Hello and welcome to this video about the PDCA cycle. Uh, PDCA stands for plan, do, check, act. So, and it is continuous improvement framework that can be applied to a wide variety of processes, systems, and projects. In this video, we will go uh, over the key components of the PDCA cycle, how it works, and why it's important. So the first phase of this cycle is plan. Plan is identify the problem or opportunity and develop a plan for improvement. Do is to implement the plan and collect data on the results. Check to analyze the data and evaluate the results against the original goal or objective. And the final phase is act is to make changes and improve, uh, improvements based on what was learned from the check step. The first step in of the PDCA cycle is plan. In this step, you identify problems or opportunity that you want to address and you develop a plan for improvement. This could include defining goals and objectives identifying resources and constraints, and determining the scope of the project. It is important to involve all stakeholders in the planning process to ensure that everyone is aligned and committed to the improvement effort. The second step of the PDCA cycle is do. In this step, you implement the plan and collect the data on the results. Uh, this could include running as, uh, experiments, testing new processes or system, or implement new, product, uh, new products or services. It's important to collect data during this step so that uh, you can evaluate the effectiveness of the plan and identify areas for improvement. The third step of the PDCA cycle is check. In this step, you analyze the data collected during the uh, do step and evaluate the results against the original goal or objective. This could include identifying trends, analyzing statistical data, and comparing actual results to expected results. The purpose of this step is to determine whether the plan was effective and to identify areas for improvement. The fourth and final step of the PDCA cycle is ACT. In this step, you make changes and improvements based on what was learned from the church step. Uh, this could include revising the plan implementing new processes or system or making changes to product uh, to products or services it's important to take action based on the data collected during the check step to ensure continuous improvement uh, the pdca cycle has many benefits for individuals and organizations uh, first uh, it provides a structured approach to continuous improvement, which can help you uh, identify and address problems and opportunities uh, more effectively. The second, it promotes collaboration and communication among stakeholders, which can improve alignment and commitment to the improvement effort. And finally, it encourages data-driven decision-making which can lead to more effective and efficient processes, products, or services. In conclusion, the PDA, PDCA cycle is a powerful framework for continuous improvement. By following four steps of plan, do, check, and act, you can identify and address problems and opportunities more effectively, promote collaboration and communication, and make data-driven decisions. Whether you are working on a small project or large-scale initiative, 
the PDCI cycle can help you achieve your goals and continuously improve over time. Thank you for watching this video, video on the PDCI cycle.